Every year, more than one billion used tires are thrown away worldwide. These tires, if not recycled or treated, take 50 to 80 years to decompose. They not only fill up landfills, but also cause serious soil and water pollution. But this story doesn't have to end in gloom. Today, join us in exploring a different ending, a new journey for every tire, where technology and innovation are used to turn old tire into new ones, reducing waste, saving money, and protecting the environment. Welcome to Iron Hand Tech. Let's take a look at this exciting journey through the tire retreading process step by step. Tread retreading, also known as retreading, is a process in which the old tread layer of a tire is completely replaced with a new one. The special thing is that the tire carcass, which is very durable, is still retained. This significantly reduces the amount of material needed compared to producing a new tire. But is this process really safe? And how can we ensure that the retreaded tire is as durable as a new tire? Let's dive into each step of the process to find out. The retreading process begins with a critical step, initial inspection. Each old tire is fed into an automated inspection system where workers determine whether the tire is fit for retreading. This step is critical as more than half of all failed rebuilds are traced to poor initial inspection. The first step is a visual inspection where the tire is placed on a mechanical stretcher where it is stretched to both sides, allowing the inspector to get a better look at the inside. The tire wall, inner lining, bead area, and tread surface are all thoroughly inspected. Tires with less than 1.6 millimeters of wear are usually rejected because they do not provide adequate traction. Workers also manually inspect the tire for foreign objects such as stones, nails, or screws, all of which are found are discarded during this step. The tires are then electrically inspected to identify any damage that is not visible to the naked eye. The electrical current will indicate any defects that need to be addressed. About 70% of the old tires that meet the recycling standards will be sent to the next step. The remaining tires will be sent to other recycling processes or safely disposed of. This is an important part of maintaining the safety and quality of the recycled tires. After the initial inspection, each tire is placed in a laser diagnostic machine. This is the most advanced technology that can detect defects hidden deep inside the tire structure that are invisible to the naked eye. The laser system works by emitting millions of scans in seconds. The data collected will show the 3D structure of the tire. Small cracks or weak areas in the tire frame will be detected immediately. This helps workers eliminate potential risks and ensure the best quality for the remanufactured tires. The next step is to remove the old tread layer on the tire surface. The tire is placed on a giant grinder, the high-speed spindle of about 2,500 to 3,500 RPM will grind away the old rubber layer, leaving a smooth surface while still maintaining the tire frame structure. The grinder is often integrated with a high-power dust extraction system to remove rubber dust and debris generated during the grinding process. This process not only helps remove damaged material layers, but also prepares the surface for better adhesion of the new rubber layer. The accuracy of the grinder can reach 0.1 millimeters, ensuring that each tire after grinding has high uniformity. To ensure durability and safety, any small defects such as cuts or punctures are carefully handled. To maintain durability and safety, even the smallest nicks or punctures are meticulously repaired. Technicians inspect damaged areas, fill holes with uncured rubber, and apply specialized materials with a heat press to restore the tire structure. For more extensive damage, an automated system injects liquid rubber 
and vulcanizes it directly to create a seamless surface. This is the most important step in transforming an old tire into a new one. The tire is coated with a special liquid rubber called a rubber sealant. Then a new tread is applied to the surface using an automatic press. The tread joints are temporarily stapled and pressed to remove trapped air. Using high quality materials, the new tread strip not only ensures optimal traction, but also extends the tire's life by up to 60%. The tire is then wrapped in a flexible rubber membrane to apply even pressure across the entire tire surface during the curing process. In the curing chamber, high temperature and pressure will help the liquid rubber to bond perfectly with the tire frame. This process takes from 60 to 90 minutes, depending on the size and type of tire. Once completed, the tire will have the same durability and elasticity as a new tire, ready to roll on any road. Each recycled tire is not only a cost-effective solution, but also contributes to environmental protection. At 20 to 50% of the price of a new tire, you not only save money but also reduce the amount of rubber used and the energy consumption by 40% compared to new tires. In other words, a recycled tire saves about 20 liters of oil and reduces CO2 emissions by up to 30 kilograms compared to a new tire. If the entire transport industry used recycled tires, we could save billions of liters of oil every year. That's a lot. We believe that sustainability is not a choice, but a responsibility for all of us. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the Iron Hand Tech channel. Today we will explore an extremely interesting and useful process, the journey of recycling old car tires into fuel. Whether you drive to work every day or take a road trip on your day off, after a long enough period of use, your tires will start to show signs of wear. Once your tires reach a tread depth of 1.6 meters, you need to replace them to ensure maximum safety on the road and to comply with the law. This replacement of car tires results in about 30 million tons of tires being replaced and potentially thrown away every year worldwide. But now there is a solution to this problem. Car tires will be recycled into oil at a special plant Let's find out about this process today. At the service centers, old car tires are collected and then sent to recycling plants. In Korea, there are about 30 collectors who collect and supply scrap tires to recycling plants. The tires are back on the road, but with a completely different mission. At the factory, workers tear out the steel wires from tires. This is done by a special machine that takes 20 seconds to process each tire. Its iron fingers hook into the tire and pull with great force through a hydraulic system to extract the steel wires from the car tire. The steel used to make the steel cords in automobile tires are high tensile steels with good elasticity and high wear resistance. These steel cords will be compacted and can be further recycled for use in the construction industry and other industries. At the plant, the tires are cleaned to remove dirt, rocks, and other impurities. They are then sent to a crusher on a conveyor belt. Here the crusher chews up the tires, turning them into tiny pieces.
the rubber pieces continue to be removed of impurities through the vibrating machine system before reaching the next processing stage. The tire pieces are transported to the pyrolysis area. The purpose of this is to decompose the chemical bonds in the rubber to create simpler products, mainly oil. The rubber is fed into a reactor where the temperature is 50 to 500 degrees Celsius and there is no oxygen. Here the large rubber molecules will be broken down into smaller molecules such as hydrocarbons. Then. These hydrocarbons will be converted into vapor and gas, including oil gas and some solids and oil as the main product in this stage. The finished oil then goes through a filtration and refining process to improve quality and remove harmful compounds. Recycled rubber oil products, FOR, are highly applicable, low cost, high calorific value, and more environmentally friendly. In most countries, recycling old tires is a complicated and expensive affair. In the United States, about 81%, equivalent to 225 million tires, are recycled each year. While in Europe, the rate is even higher. Reaching 96%, however, there are still a lot of tires out there that are not recycled. Tire recycling is a great example of a circular economy. By reusing resources, we reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and create a more sustainable future. This is not only a solution to an environmental problem, but also a new economic opportunity. Did you know that every year the world produces about 1.7 billion tires and only about 35% of them are recycled? Why is tire recycling so important and how does this process work? Let's find out right away. In 1846, Robert William Thompson was granted a patent for the invention of pneumatic tires. However, it was not until 1880 that John Boyd Dunlop really perfected and put pneumatic tires into widespread use. He realized that pumping air into the rubber helped reduce vibration and increase the smoothness of the car. Since then, billions of tires have been produced in the world. Although they are getting more and more durable, the car tire landfills are still getting bigger requiring them to be disposed of. Few people expect that these discarded tires can be called black gold. These old tires are collected from maintenance centers, scrap yards, and other collection points. This is the first and important step to prepare for the next recycling steps. Bearing tires has never been a perfect solution. Rainwater seeping through tire landfills will dissolve toxic substances, flow into groundwater, polluting water sources. Burning tires is the same, a large amount of toxic gases such as dioxin, furan, fine dust particles, seriously affect human health and the environment. Therefore, tire recycling brings hope to create new materials, but they also help clean the environment, avoid the spread of disease and potential risks of fire and explosion. At the plant, the tires are cleaned to remove dirt, stones, and other impurities. This prepares the tires for the crushing process ensuring that no impurities will affect the quality of the recycled rubber. Workers then tear off the steel cords in the tires. This is done by a special machine that takes 20 seconds to remove the steel cords from the tires. These steel cords can be further recycled and used in the construction and other industries. The tires are then fed onto a conveyor belt into a grinder where sharp blades do their job, breaking the tires into tiny rubber pieces and this giant drum breaks them into even smaller pieces. The machine also has a magnet to attract any metal fragments that remain after the grinding process. This process transforms the tires from a hard state into smaller, easier to handle pieces. After grinding, the rubber flakes are filtered to remove any remaining impurities, usually reinforcing fibers made of nylon or other synthetic fibers. This is an important step to ensure that the recycled rubber is of high quality, ready for further reuse. The rubber flakes continue to pass through a vibrating machine to separate the powders of different sizes. The crushed rubber is fed into a mixer where it is mixed with a polyurethane binder. To get the final product the desired color, the colored mixture is put into a mold 
with the undyed rubber mixture, pressed by hand and then sent to a hydraulic press. Here the bricks are pressed to the appropriate level. Finally, they are placed in a drying oven for about eight hours. Now the bricks are ready to be used for paving playgrounds, parks, sidewalks. In most countries, recycling old tires is a complicated and expensive business. In the United States, about 81%, equivalent to 225 million tires, are recycled each year. While in Europe, the rate is even higher, reaching 96%, but there are still many tires out there that are not recycled. The complex structure and chemical resistance of rubber make it difficult to separate and recycle the components. However, this process is being accelerated because people see its undeniable benefits. Today, cars are still operating on the streets. Each car rolling on the road carries a story. And the story of old tires, when recycled, becomes a new chapter full of meaning. Thank you for following our tire recycling journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on other interesting videos. See you in the next videos.